everyone, welcome to section 1-3. We're gonna look at that rectangular coordinate system. We've probably all seen this in an algebra class, right? It's just the XY system. Sometimes called the Cartesian. Um, so let's do some quick sketches, um, distance formula, and some examples. So let's go back to those absolute values. So let's sketch the region whose coordinates satisfy the absolute value of x is less than 5, and the absolute value of y is less than or equal to 1. So I'm going to do those in two different colors and then combine them. Just get my, getting my graph ready. Um, so let's see. Let's do green for x. So the absolute value of x is less than 5, meaning, again, the distance from 0. is less than 5. The interpretation will be really important in calculus. So I'm going to focus on interpreting that. So distance from 0, we're looking at the x's. So we can go left or right, right, positive or negative. And we can go all the way to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll put, I'll put parentheses. You could also do the open circle. And then we could go the negative direction, right? Distance can be either direction. And then all of these numbers would fit that, right? Any y value. So we can shade all that. Anything in this region, the absolute value of x would be less than 5, right? Don't worry about the y value yet. We're only looking at x. Cool. So let's look at these y's. So now for y... We want to do absolute value is less than 1. So here's 1, right? Again, this means distance can go up or down, right? Positive or negative distance. So distance from 0 is less than 1 or equal to 1. So basically, in between 1 and negative 1, we're going to go ahead and include 1 this time. And then anything in this region would fit that. So then when we go ahead and combine them, it would be the regions that they have in common. So I'll do that in a different color. So the shaded region in blue would be the solution. And then if I had, if I were using pencil, I might erase all the extra stuff. And there we go. That's the region. So I kind of shade both to find the region and then kind of erase where they don't overlap. So we're looking at the overlap, right? Because we want and always means overlap. So what did they have in common? And that's our xy plane. Cool. So let's review the distance formula. We might remember it, but if not, I'm going to show you how to derive it. So if we want to find the distance between two points, we have x1, y1. So that could be anywhere. We'll just generically put it on the bottom. It doesn't necessarily have to be below x2, y2. And then x2, y2 is up here. And the distance between them would be that red line. So what we're going to do is we're going to sketch a right triangle to find the distance because we know how to find formulas with right triangles. So we sketch a right triangle. Um, the bottom would be x2 minus y2, right? The distance right there is x2 minus x1. Sorry, I said y2. x2 minus x1 would represent the length of the bottom. And y2 minus y1 would represent the length of the vertical one. And then we can use Pythagorean theorem to find the distance. Here we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, my a will be x2 minus x1. b will be y2 minus y1. Right? Don't forget those parentheses. And then c will be the distance. So distance squared. And that's basically the formula. If I want to solve for distance, I'll just take the square root 
Um, we don't have to worry about positive negative because distance is positive. We're calling distance a positive value. So our formula for distance between two points is just the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So write down the formula, um, but we also can derive it by using a triangle. So let's try an example. So let's suppose we have, um, I'm gonna draw the graph to help us understand this. Um, we have zero, zero and zero, six. Our vertices of a triangle. And I wanna find the third vertice in the first quadrant so that it makes an equilateral triangle. So, right, we're making a triangle. An equilateral triangle means all the sides are the same, right? What is this point? So in this case, it means all the distances are the same, right? The distance, between 0, 0, and 0, 6 would be, we'll call this point x, y, is the same as 0, 0 to x, y, and 0, 6 to x, y. So we'll use the distance formula to figure out what that point is, because all of those sides are the same, right? Distance, distance, distance. So I think I can find the distance between 0, 0 and 0, 6 without the distance formula, since it's on the y-axis. Um, if you want to use the distance formula, you can, but you're going to spend more time, right? It's vertical. We can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? The distance is 6. So now we know they're all, all the sides are 6. So let's set up the distance formula and see what happens. It's going to be backwards because we know the distance. Um, so let's see, let's do, we'll do it twice. Let's do this one first. Um, this having zero, zero makes the formula a little bit easier. So we have the square root of zero minus X squared, zero minus X all squared plus zero minus Y squared equals six. So since we're solving for x and y, it might be easier to get rid of the square root. So we'll square both sides. Um, 0 minus x squared would be negative x squared, which is the same as x squared. Same with negative y squared is just y squared. So x squared plus y squared is 36. So we can't quite solve this, but maybe when I set up the second one, we'll be able to solve it better. So same idea. Um, so what do we get? We get square root of 0 minus x all squared. Those are my, my x1 and my x2. Plus my y1 is 6 minus y all squared equals 6 again, right? Because the distance is the same. I'll go ahead and square both sides just to get rid of the square root. Why not? Um, 0 minus x squared again is x squared. The 6 minus y squared is a little trickier, so we'll leave it as is, equals 36. So now we have two equations. Maybe we could use a substitution to solve it. So for me, it looks like maybe solving for x squared on the first one, I can plug into x squared on the second one. So x squared would be 36 minus y squared, and we'll go ahead and plug that in and we'll be able to solve the second one. So this is called substitution. So 
So let's see where this takes us. So 36 minus y squared. Remember, this isn't 36 minus y squared. It's 6 minus y times 6 minus y. So make sure you multiply everything out. So 36 minus y squared, I get 36. I get minus 6y minus 6y. And then we get plus y squared equals 36. And maybe we can cancel some stuff out now. So the y squareds go away. We get 72 and we get minus 12y equals 36. Let's zoom in so the video looks nicer. Minus 72, minus 72. Right, we're just solving linear equation now. Minus 12y equals negative 36, and we'll divide by negative 12. So y would be 3. Let's go back and find x now. We can plug into either one, so this one or this one, either should work. The one on the left looks a little easier to me. So we'll say x squared plus 3 squared equals 36. x squared plus 9 is 36. Well, minus 9 minus 9. And what's that? Uh, 27? And then we'll square root. So x is the square root of 27. Um, as a reminder, um, we'll look for perfect squares. So 27 is 9 times 3. Um, I want the positive answer because we're in the first quadrant. And so this was 3 root 3. The square root of 9 is 3, so that comes out, and there's a root 3 left over. and then positive because we're in the first quadrant. Um, otherwise, that just, just technically means there could have been more than one answer. We could have gone in the second quadrant and actually made another equilateral triangle. So let's go ahead and look at the graph again. Right, there could have been another one over here. So the point right there would be three root three, oops, comma three. And so from that point, it's making the distance six and six. Cool, so I'll zoom out in case you need to peek at it again. I got a little tiny in my writing. It's a little tricky, but drawing a picture really helps and setting up the equations um, one at a time helps. Take your time. Um, let me know if you have any questions.